Well, if you think about it, this isn't a new idea. Uh, Sec Diokno already said this was how they were looking at it uh, during the time of Duterte. If I'm not mistaken, Sen former Senator Bam Aquino filed a bill in 2016 trying to do the same thing. Uh, I guess, my guess is because hindi na ipasa dahil patapos na ng administration ni former President Pinoy. Uh, I believe Senator JV also nag-file ng bill. It's not a new idea. So, yes, it, it became apparent that the President was in support of creating a sovereign wealth fund, but it didn't, the idea did not come from him per se. Because this is something that has been in the works or it's something that's been pushed by not even this administration but administrations past uh, before. It just so happens na swetan kami na kakasimula lang ng administration. So we have six years to hopefully uh, be able to uh, craft a uh, piece of legislation that will uh, see out and go beyond uh, the president's term. Some lawmakers have expressed concern for sa pag-rail road daw po nitong bill. Why is there any um, to rush this bill? How has it been really eroded? Uh, barely a week it was filed and then it was approved at principal at committee level and now I think it they will... Do you know how many bills were filed within a week and approved on committee level and are for second reading on this week? I'll tell you, it's more than the Sovereign Wealth Fund. So what's your, your uh, comments or reaction? It wasn't really eroded. It goes through a process. First reading. Committee, committee report, second reading, third reading. That's the process. So, kapag dumaan sa proseso, how is it railroaded? But what? The, the stakeholders daw po were not consulted. Mamaya pa nga lang daw sir. I'm sorry? Stakeholders po were not consulted. Mamaya That's not true. The GSIS and all the corporations were in the technical working group filing, uh, uh, participating in the process. Meron naman people's participation in every technical working group. Eh. You can ask Kong Joey.